Hello. Uh, good morning, everyone. I am Madhura Deshmukh. In the previous presentation, Dr. Saili has explained the effect of maternal glycemia uh, on neonatal size and uh, adiposity in the, with the uh, types of uh, diabetes. Now here, I will be discussing on maternal metabolic and nutritional determinants of neonatal size and body composition in uh, findings from our India GDM study. I am presenting this on behalf of uh, uh, Pregnancy Diabetes Group of the Diabetes Unit, KM Hospital and Research Center, Pune. As we all know, maternal under and over nutrition both causes neonatal adiposity and obesity. But India has a unique position of double burden of maternal malnutrition. That means the co coexistence of uh, undernutrition in the form of micronutrient deficiencies and overnutrition in the form of macronutrient excess or abuse, uh, obesity. But very few studies consider these exposures simultaneously. Here we show the influence of maternal micro and macronutrient uh, status on neonatal uh, body size and composition in the GDM uh, and NGT pregnancies. India GDM study is a well characterized uh, hospital based study where we have collected extensive information on mother's demography, anthropometry, biochemical parameters, which included macronutrients, glucose lipids, micronutrients, vitamin B12 and folate, one carbon metabolite, homocysteine. To note here, uh, deficiency of uh, uh, methyl donors like B, uh, vitamin B2, B6, B12, folate causes the uh, disturbances in the homo homocysteine metabolism, which results in the uh, or which is the indi uh, results in the accumulation of homocysteine in the blood, which is the indicator of multi micronutrient deficiency. Unlike other studies, uh, we have also collected the father's anthropometric measurements in this study. In the neonates, their birth size is measured by anthropometry and uh, adiposity is measured by skin folds and DEXA. The results of DEXA measurements are not discussed in this presentation. For the analysis, the covariate included gestational age, gender and socioeconomic status. After following the standardized in inclusion and exclusion criteria and considering the dropouts, we report on total of 385 pregnancies which included 157 GDMs and 228 NGT pregnancies. On comparison, uh, GDM mothers were uh, older, heavier, more adipose, had higher fasting glucose and insulin concentrations, lower cholesterol concentrations, higher triglyceride concentrations. But vitamin B12 and folate concentrations are similar in both GDM and NGT pregnancy. Neonates of GDM mothers were heavier, more adipose, and only 5% of the neonates were larger for gestational age by intergrowth standards. To show the independent associations of maternal and paternal determinants of neonatal size and body composition, we performed multiple linear regression analysis by adjusting for gestation age, gender and socioeconomic status. Here the positive or direct associations are shown by uh, solid lines or plus signs and negative or inverse associations are shown by uh, dotted lines or uh, inverse sign. Uh, to report. Uh, the maternal size parameters which included gestational weight gain, height, BMI, head circumference, subscapular skin fold uh, were directly associated with the newborn size measurements. Maternal folate had a positive association while uh, HDL and homocysteine had an inverse association with uh, body size of the newborn. Uh, maternal, uh, on the other side, uh, maternal glucose, uh, glucose had a direct association with the adiposity or body composition of the baby and HDL had negative association. In addition, paternal or father's height had positive association with the newborn size. To summarize, we conclude that uh, the GDM mothers were older, heavier and adipose compared to NGT mothers. Neonates of GDM mothers were heavier and adipose. Neonatal size and adiposity were influenced by maternal size, metabolism, micronutrient status and one carbon metabolism. Paternal size had an additional influence. Our results provide novel information on determinants of fetal growth and development. This will help policies to improve the pregnancy outcomes and influence long-term health and the diseases. I would like to thank all the participants in the study, our mentor, Professor C.S. Adnik, 
co-authors and all the collaborators, staff of the Diabetes Unit and KM Hospital Research Center, and especially Pregnancy Study Group of Ahmedabad for providing the uh, opportunity to present our results here. Thank you so much, sir.